Welcome to the Recreational Sports Outdoor Program Kayak and Canoe Tie Down Tutorial. We're going to cover how to put foam pads on the boats as well as how to strap boats, kayaks and canoes to your vehicle and we'll cover the knots that you need to use when doing so. Before you put the canoe or the kayak up on the vehicle you'll need to put the foam pads on to protect your vehicle. On a canoe there's four foam pads that will go over the strong points of the vehicle and each one has a groove through it so that it will fit over the side of the canoe. Make sure to wipe off the foam pads before you put them on your car because any gravel or sand will scratch your vehicle. You'll want to line up the foam pads on the canoe with the strong points on the car so this line right here where there's a support beam in the back and the corresponding point in the front. Once you have the canoe up on top of the vehicle, you may need to adjust the foam pads slightly. If you don't have a rack on top of your car, you can strap the canoe to the top of the vehicle by passing the straps through the open doors. Pull the strap through the clasp from the bottom to the top, feeding out. It's good to pull both straps at the same time so that you're putting equal pressure on both parts of the boat and leave a twist in your strap so that the strap doesn't vibrate in the wind. To tie off the knot, you will make a four around the back of the strap, notice the four, and tuck a bite or a loop of strap through the loop that you made and snug it up to the clasp. Probably you will have some extra and you can bundle the extra strap and tuck it through that bite, keeping it secure for your journey. And then just pull on the tail end. Now it's time to do the front and rear tie downs. You'll make a bite, you'll double your rope in half and make a bite in your rope that you will wrap around a point inside of the canoe making a lark's head knot. To make a girth hitch, you'll pass the bite over a point inside of the canoe and all the tail end goes through that bite that you made and gets cinched neatly down. Once you've attached the rope to the canoe, you will find two points on the bottom of your car that you can safely tie the canoe down to, such as this point right here. The knot that you'll be using to tie the rope to the bottom of your vehicle is called the trucker's hitch. On the part of the rope between the bottom of the vehicle and the canoe, you will loop the rope over twice, like so, and pull the bottom end through in a bite, snugging the knot down, like so. Okay, now I'm going to pinch it down. Yeah. This creates a pulley system to tighten your tie down with and one end, the rope coming from the bottom of the vehicle goes through the bite that was formed and now you have a double pulley system to winch it down with. To tie it off, once it's tightened, you just do an overhand wrapping from the front around the back and tucking through. <laughs> it's a good idea to do several overhands to back up the knot. Make sure that it doesn't come undone. So once again, you'll wrap around the back and tuck through the bite that you made. And if you have a lot of excess, there's no harm in doing multiple overhands. Once you've strapped your boat down, make sure that it is securely tightened by giving it a good shake. The entire car should move when you shake the boat. Some things to remember when you're strapping down your boat are to make sure that you don't over tighten it so that the boat does not become bowed and so that no dents are made in the hull of the boat.